Hi, welcome to our beginners class. Um, we're going to start sitting in a comfortable position. Um, that might be for you, cross-legged, easy sitting pose like this, doesn't matter how far the knees up are up. You can sit yourself up on some blankets or a bolster if you have one. You can even have the legs straight out in front if the cross-legged position doesn't suit you either way. Whatever works for your body is the right pose for you. So we're just going to start um, with some gentle stretches. So mirroring me, I just want you to take your, will be your right hand out to the side, inhale up with your left, inhale, reach up, and exhale, come over. Just feeling that stretch through the left side of the body. Make sure you've got that arm sort of rotated inwards just to protect that shoulder. Um, looking underneath the arm, breathing into the stretch. Inhale up the other side, find some length and exhale over, reaching up and over and breathing into that space. And coming back to centre. So moving into a little twist, I'm going to take my legs out just to be with those of you that have got the legs straight, but you can keep them crossed if you're comfortable with that. And we're just going to take the right hand to the outside of the leg or knee, the opposite hand behind. Inhale, find some length. And as we exhale, just gently open out. And back over that shoulder, a little tuck to the chin, protecting the neck. Breathing in, find your length. Breathing out, maybe you can feel that extra space you create. As the breath leaves the body, inhale, lengthen, exhale, finding a little more twist on the breath out, one more breath here, and exhale, let's come to the other side, hands in place, inhale, find your length, and exhale, open. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, find that space. One more. And exhale. And let's release back around to centre. All right, um, we're going to come into table position, so just up onto the hands and knees. I'm just helping to warm up the wrists a little bit here. So just have the wrists underneath the el elbows. Uh, no, that'll be the shoulders. <laughs> and the hands shoulder width apart. I just want you to move forward gently, just to where it suits you, no strain. And coming back. Very gentle, subtle movements, helping to warm up those wrists. And one more. So we come back to centre, take the feet flat, melting heart pose, knees wide. Leave the arms in front, or you can bring the hands in underneath the forehead. You know, you can always do that as an option. And raising the head, let's walk the hands over to the right. and just feeling a stretch through the left side of the body. to the other side again. If you're on the fists with the fists under the forehead, just move the, the fists over. Just so you can, you'll be able to feel into that stretch through the right side of the body, however you've got the arms. And raise the head and 
let's walk back to center. Let's come back up to table position. And from table, we're going to extend the right leg back behind us. Just holding there for a moment, nice and strong through your core. I'm going to cross that leg across the body, tuck the toes, inhale, draw your right shoulder forward, look back at the tuck toes. So you're feeling that opening through the whole right side of the body, breathe into it. And bring your gaze back to centre, draw that leg all the way to the side, so you look like this. And just come down onto the, interlace the hands and just stay there feeling that stretch through that inner leg. And coming up into the hands, let's take that leg back and we're back to table position. So let's do the left side, take the left leg back behind you, feel that nice strong core flex through that left foot and really feel like you're pushing the floor away with the hands, really finding a nice active pose, holding it there, feeling the strength through that left glute as you hold that leg up, strengthening the glute, strengthening the core. And let's cross that foot across the body, tuck the toes, inhale, draw the left shoulder forward, look back to the toes. Bring your gaze back to centre, draw that foot all the way around to the side. If it doesn't suit you that far forward, you can have it back wherever it suits you. Sole of the foot on the floor. Bring the arms down, interlace the fingers, and just hold here. And bring the hands back, and draw that leg back behind you as we come back to table position. We'll just take the feet flat for a moment. Just going to move through some cat cows. So we'll inhale, bring the chest forward as we breathe in. Exhale, round the back, chin to chest, let all the breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. We'll just hold that stretch up for a moment. And come back to centre. Let's come up onto the knees for a moment. Uh, we're going to be stepping through into a lunge. You might want to have blocks if you've got blocks at home, that's great. If you haven't, just um, some thick books or DVD sets or something will we'll also do. Try and get a couple that are about the same size. So we're going to come up to downward dog and step forward. So for a lot of you that don't like downward dog, you don't have to do downward dog. You can stay in table like this and then step forward like that. It's absolutely fine. If you're okay with your downward dog, just lengthen out a little bit and lift yourself up. So we're either in table pose at the moment or we're in downward dog. If you're in downward dog, a little bend in the knees, reaching the chest back towards the legs. And we're going to send the right leg high if you're in table, just stay there. And we're going to step all the way forward, okay? So if you're in table, just step forward. And then we're all going to raise the arms up and just hold here in this low lunge. Bring the hands down to the floor. I'm going to straighten through that front leg, so breathe in here. And as we exhale, just straighten that right leg to where it suits you. It doesn't matter how straight or bent the leg is, just so long as you feel the stretch. We'll let the head drop and just stay there with it. No strain, but a gentle challenge is what we're after.
Whoa, let's come out of that. We're coming back to table and staying in table or coming back up to downward dog, whatever suits you. Your other option is to come up to downward dog, but instead of raising the left leg and stepping all the way forward, which you're welcome to do now, you can downward dog, come to the knees, step forward. So that's another way that you can move through that sequence, raise the arms up. Bring the hands down, breathe in. And as we breathe out, just straighten that front leg, wherever it is for you. And we'll just hold it here. Use your ocean breathing, really sound that breath. Drop the head. Feel the stretch. And come forward. Let's just step back. We're in a nice long table here. We're going to come forward, bring the shoulders over the wrist, and we're going to slide along all the way down to the floor. Bring those arms forward, so we're going to bring the elbows up underneath the shoulders. Now for some of you, this back bend might be a bit too much. If it is, take the elbows out, but otherwise, draw the chest forward, even push the top of the feet into the floor. Feel like you're reaching that heart center forward. Listen to the breath. We're going to move back to classic child's pose. Take the elbows out, hands under the shoulders, push yourself back. Coming back to sit on the heels, arms back beside the body. Now, if this pose doesn't suit you, you can be here. You can even have the hips up high, you can be here, okay? Just work with what works for your body. Raise the head, walk forward, we're coming to long table again. Bring those, tuck the toes, bring the shoulders over the wrist and lower down again. Take the hands out to the sides, fingertips on the floor. We're going to roll up into three cobras. You can do this at the height that suits you. So inhale, raise up, it might be here for you. Just the head coming up, it might be a bit here or here, just to the point that suits your back. And exhale down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, and we're going to hold. So, coming up to the point that you're comfortable with, and that is a big part of the art and skill of yoga, is finding that point that works for your body, not pushing it too far, yet gent gently challenging it. <sighs> Lower down and back to child's pose. Oh, we should come forward and I want you to come up into down dog. Take the feet a little wider, bend the legs and start to walk the hands back. And then you're keeping that nice bend in the legs, we're going to inhale all the way up, and exhale, well done. Alright, nice long stretch, so palm tree pose, it's a nice uh, balancing pose, so feet hip width apart, and I really want your focus to be in the ball of the big toe, that's where we're pushing our energy through. Let's interlace the hands. Raise up. And then push through the balls of the big toes. So as you raise up, you notice the weight wants to keep falling out towards the little toes. Keep bringing back into the big toe. Ball of the big toe. Find your point of balance there. Nice steady drishti or steady gaze. And keep the breath flowing. Don't hold the breath.
turn the hands over and let's start to slowly lower back down. All right. So while we're up here, we're going to do a wide-legged forward bend. So I want you to take a nice wide stand. This is where you might want to use blocks as well. Um, if you have trouble reaching towards the floor, the blocks are really good in this wide-legged pose. So generally, we want the legs about a length of one of your legs. We want the edges of the feet in line with the edges of the mat. So from here, let's start with the hands on the hips as we breathe in. As we breathe out, a nice bend in the legs as we fold forward. Now some of you might be able to reach the floor. If not, grab those blocks or books and just rest your hands wherever it suits you. Just try not to lock those knees in. Just have a softness in the knees. Get to that point where you feel the stretch. And then we're just breathing with it. This is the breath in. This is the breath out. Big breath here. And as we exhale, a little more bend in the legs, hands to the hips, and let's slowly start to uncurl them. And we're going to leave the legs nice and wide, but turn the toes out. So we're sort of going 10 a.m., 2 p.m. We want those knees tracking over the toes. So if you find that your knees are dropping in, you bring the toes in a little closer. We want to protect those knees here. So hands on the hips, let's breathe in. As we breathe out, come down a little lower. So we're really working on the strength of our legs here. And we're going to come into what we call goddess pose. So legs here. Try not to, when you're in goddess pose, take the tailbone out too far. You want to sort of drop that tailbone towards the floor. And from here, take the arms out. So you've got the upper arms parallel to the floor. The fingers are spread. Work with the breath. Allow it to create softness in the pose. Start to move here, straighten the legs, bring the arms up, touch the index finger and the thumb together. We'll do that a few times, we'll come back down. Inhale. Exhale, keep the knees tracking over the toes. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Hands back to hips. And straighten up. So mirroring me, I want you to turn your <clears throat> left foot so it's in line with the edge of the mat. And turn your, <clears throat> so that's your right foot, and your left foot turn out. So we're in a position ready for our warrior two. So we're just going to bend that front leg, <clears throat> that knee stacked over the ankle, and bring the arms out to the sides. Make sure the shoulders are over the hips. We don't want to sort of be reaching forward like this. We want to be nice and, and stacked. We're going to come into reverse. So we're going to place this hand down. We'll lift the palm, reach up. And what we're going to do is place that, the fingertips in the middle of the shoulder blades and grab that elbow and just gently draw it back. Make sure you're not drawing it out, but get that inward shoulder rotation. So you're protecting the shoulder here. You can feel that stretch the whole down the side of the body. As we come back to worry two, and we straighten up all toes to me. So turn your uh, the right foot and bend that leg nice and stacked. And let's bring the arms out so we're into warrior two. Flip the front palm, 
reach up, feel that length. Now these fingertips come to the middle of the shoulder blades. So you feel that stretch to start, and then grab your left hand and just gently drawing that shoulder, that elbow in and back, protecting the shoulder. You're really feeling that beautiful stretch right down the side of the body here. Yeah, let's release back to warrior two. Hands to the hips, straighten the front leg, all toes to me. All right, let's just uh, heel toe all the way back in. All right, so we're gonna come down to the floor and um, so just make your way gently down. I'm gonna come onto our backs. So nice to start like this with the legs out in front. Actually, before we do come to our backs, just like this, with the hands on over the knees, let's do a few cat cows to just um, support that spine. Inhale, chest forward, nice and straight through the back. And exhale, round the back, chin to chest. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. We come down to the floor we're going to do some exercises on our back and then we'll be finishing in a relaxation or shavasana so if you did want to put something warmer on top now or even have a blanket nearby that you can grab for when we move into that um, relaxation period it's a good idea to get that now also if you've got blocks or um, your books just have at least one of those blocks by your side for one of our um, one of our poses towards the end of the class so when you're ready just release the arms out and slowly lowering all the way down to the floor. <sighs> I'm just going to shoot you down a bit. So from here, the feet hip width apart, I want the ankles underneath the knees and the arms down beside the body and just draw the shoulder blades under a little bit. That just creates a little arch in the back but also brings the um, weight to the top of the back where we want it up on the, sh up on the shoulder blades. As we inhale, just see how you go, lifting the hips up and exhale, rolling down. When we come up this time, we're going to raise the arms up as well. So inhale, arms up and exhale, all the way down. Inhale. Inhale, hold on this last one, really feel the glutes activated and working as you hold the hips up here, strengthening the back, strengthening the glutes, really stimulating through that thyroid area as well, lots of benefits for that thyroid gland here, and let's release down, so hips and hands coming to touch the floor at the same time. Releasing back to centre, draw your knees up to the chest and just rocking the back from side to side. If you're comfortable with happy baby, you can grab the outside of the soles, outside of the feet and draw the legs up. If it doesn't suit you, if it's too much of a reach, you can just grab the back of the legs like that, it's okay too. There's always an option when it comes to yoga. There's an option for everybody. And let's release the feet back down. So we're going to grab one of our blocks or your books. And we're going to raise the hips up and we're going to place that block underneath your sacrum. So sort of at the level that suits you. I'm going to put it on the mid-level. You could have the block on low or the book on low. Just whatever suits. But make sure it's on that bony part right down sort of near the tailbone, not on the spine at all. And then draw the shoulder blades under a little. And rest here. Some people are really comfortable straightening the legs out in this pose. 
So I'm only going to suggest that for those of you that I know are comfortable straightening their legs out. For some people it doesn't suit their back. I personally find it really comfortable. But you can either stay there or just stay in the bent leg version. Noticing the breath in. And the breath out. you to raise the hips, take the block away, roll the spine back down to the floor and just before we come into Shavasana for relaxation, lift the knees to the chest once more, rock the back from side to side and just for our very last pose, interlacing the hands and drawing the forehead to the knees and making yourself as small as possible. Make your way into Shavasana. So, legs are stretched out. Now, you can have something under the knees if you have issues with your back. It's really nice to have your support under your knees when you're lying down like this. So, you could use your blocks, or if you've got a bolster or blankets, you could use them as well. <sighs> Arms out away from the body, just tucking the chin in towards the chest a little, releasing, just finding that length through the back of the neck. Allowing the body to arrive this time and place. Just closing the eyes and the mouth, make sure you're breathing through the nose. In through the nose, out through the nose. And with each breath, finding your body relaxing just a little more into the support of the floor. This is the breath in. This is the breath out. Bringing your awareness to the back of the body, starting at the back of the head. Feel the connection, the back of the head to the floor. to the upper back, the shoulder blades, the space between the shoulder blades, the whole upper back, the middle back, the lower back, the sacrum, the hips and buttocks, back of the lower legs, back of the knees, calf muscles, heels, Hold back of the body in connection to the floor. Hold back of the body. Moving around the soles of the feet, the toes, top of the feet, ankles, shins, knees, thighs, hips, lower belly, upper belly, the whole of the rib cage through to the chest, left side of the chest, right side of the chest, centre of the chest, collarbones, pit of the throat, neck, jaw, chin, mouth, nose, tip of the nose, bridge of the nose, the eyes, upper lids, lower lids, the eyebrows, eyebrow centre, the forehead and crown, holding the whole body in your awareness as one unit, whole body whole body. Come 
back to the breath. As you feel the belly rise on the breath in and fall on the breath out. Focus back to the body now, the connection of your body to the floor. Just feeling the effect of gravity holding your body to the floor. Bring your awareness to the fingers and start to spark some life back into the fingers. Starting to move the toes, maybe the wrists and ankles. Slowly waking the body up. Maybe stretching out nice and long or drawing your knees to your chest. And when you're ready, rolling onto your side and coming up into a sitting position. Thank you so much for joining me again for our beginners class. I hope to see you again next week. Um, if you like, you can bring your thumbs together, bring them up to the eyebrow centre and repeat after me. Namaste.